welcome back to my channel so during today's video I am going to be creating an eyeshadow look using the Anastasia's Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette so let's get started I am going to be taking the Morphe 518 this large fluffy brush and I'm going to start out with the let's do the shade ginger the last matte shade in the palette and we are going to pop this shade in our crease area and we're going to pack it first placing most of it right in the crease above the out of the area I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye and just pack it and I did not set my um, let me show the I did not set my base okay so now we're going to start blending the shadow in circular motions I'm going to see if I can <laughs> come up with a simple, easy look, but we'll see how that turns out. That never works out for me, hardly, <laughs> but we'll see. So I'm going to continue blending. And dragging it into the um, inner corner area in the crease. And just continue to blend. This is a pretty, pretty matte shade. So we're going to blend the other eye and do the same thing. Just make sure you blend it like really, really, really good. And apply a little bit more. And I'm continuing to blend. It's a really pretty, pretty shade. I'm going to continue to blend. And make sure the other eyes blend it really well. Make sure these, um, it's no harsh edges with this shade. And I'm blending so much because I did not set it so it's a little bit more tackier. Um, you have to blend a little bit more when you don't set the, um, the base. I'm just adding a little bit more right in this out of the area of the eye and just blending. And a little bit more on the other eye and just continue to blend. And I like these large fluffy brushes, um, especially when I'm getting ready in the mornings. They're not as precise and you can do a good uh, placement with these types of brushes. And just gives you a really, really good blend. So I'm just going to continue blending outwards. Okay, so this palette does not have like a lighter, lighter shade for the area above my crease. So I am going to... Hmm, Take, go into this Milani Gilded Gold eyeshadow palette. It's not as light as I want it, but let, I'm going to use the shade Extra Basic. 
and it's like this taupey matte shade. I'm going to use the same brush. And I am going to place that right above the crease area. Going up to the brow bone, but not all the way up to the brow bone. I'm gonna place it. And the same thing on the other eye. That's going pretty good with that shade. I'm just making sure it's really placed right in this area. And we're going to blend the rest of it going towards the um, inner crease area. So now we're going to lightly blend this shade in circular motions to um, make sure both of these shades are blended together. The crease shade and the shade above the crease. Right below the brow bone area. I like that. That's pretty together. Really soft. Soft and pretty. So now I'm going to go back in with the Gina, Jackie Gina. <laughs> Jackie Ina's palette with that first shade Ginger. And pop it right back in the outer V and the crease area. Because I don't want to lose that shade from placing the other shade right above it. So now let's go in with some glitter glue. I told y'all I was going to try to make it simple and simple and simple. Um, I'm going to take my Too Faced glitter glue. This thing is taking like forever, 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 forever to use up. And I've been using it quite a bit. <laughs> so, take on my ring finger. I'm going to um, place it right on the center, going towards the inner, up to the crease. And I'm just making sure it's blended really good over the lid area while I'm going to place my shimmer. So the same thing for the other eye. I'm going to lightly pack it. Oh, it went all up in my crease. That's okay. And just make sure it's blended really good. You want to lightly, lightly pack your, um, when you're doing, you want to lightly pat your lid. I'm just making sure it's all over the lid since most of it went up in the crease area. And these are my Dashing Divas, by the way. I love those strips. So random. So now we're going to go in with, the, let's see, the shade. I don't know. Oh, let's try Zam. And it's the first shimmer shade on the second row <laughs> and I have not filmed in like over a week because my allergies oh my god they would not let me be great so I was not about to get on here with runny eyes and everything so I'm going to place it on my ring finger and we're going to just pat it in the area we place the glitter glue but we're going to place most of it on the lid area and then we'll work the rest of it up with the tip of our finger into that area this is a nice nice shade that's pretty I love it and we're gonna do the same thing for the other eye take a little bit of, this is a pretty shade and do the same thing pat oh didn't expect that much. Pack most of it right on the center. And that's why I always do that. I don't ever just go straight um, for the top of the eye area because of what just happened. You have so much in one spot 
And I don't want to have all that in my crease. And then have you trying to fix it and blend it. So I'm just going to continue packing. This is a smooth, like, blendable, really soft shimmer shadow. And I know I don't be making any type of sense. When I be talking, I just be talking. <laughs> so we're just going to continue to place it. That's so pretty. And I'm just making sure it's placed like really, really good. So I don't have any clumps or anything like that. So I think that should do it. Let's take a little bit more in this inner corner area. Yeah, a little bit in the other inner corner. And I'm just using the tip of my finger to place it right in the inner corner. And you don't have to worry about the mess because you can clean it up after you get through with the eye look. That's why I don't ever do my base first. I know a lot of people like doing their base first, but I wouldn't be able to do it, at least right now. So now I'm going to go back in with the shade Ginger and make sure we pack it back in the outer V to bring a little depth back into the area of the eye. And the same thing for the other eye. And I'm just lightly fluffing it with the tip of the brush. I'm lightly fluffing the other eye. Just to make sure these two shades are blended as well. And I'm just flicking um, back and forth motions with the um, where the glitter is. So let's take my makeup round. We're gonna wipe this brush off and make sure everything else is blended. So I am liking that pretty simple, easy, soft, really, really pretty. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the extra basic from the Milani palette and just make sure it is right above the shimmer and the crease shade. A little bit more. And I'm just doing one shield wiper motions, placing it, and then circular motions. So it didn't have like that gap with these colors and everything is blended like really, really well together. I'll just make sure these edges are blended really, really good. Just okay, so that is going to complete the eye look. So I'm going to Go ahead, clean up from under my eye area. That's pretty. It was a nice, pretty shimmer, everyday um, eye look. If you want something shimmery, pretty easy to do. It's going to take about a couple of minutes. This is perfect. It's so pretty. So what I'm going to do now is my norm. <laughs> I am going to jump off camera, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be back to show you guys my final look. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back. This is the final look. I decided not to apply any lashes this morning because I've been dealing with a lot of allergy issues the last couple of weeks, and they were horrible. So I decided to just kind of give my eyes a break from the lashes today. Uh, but to finish the rest of my face, I went in with my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I've been loving this foundation lately. I've been using it last week or so. Um, and this is in the shade F9.5. I'm not sure if they still sell this one. But I do know 
they just came out with another foundation and I'm and I want to try it because I really do love this foundation um for my blush today I use my Juvia's Place um volume two and I only use the top shade to blush with today um for my bronzer I use my LYS bronzer and this is in the shade uh, Courage Tan. <laughs> I'm gonna still put my glasses on when I start doing this piece. Um, for my lips, I I did not highlight today, but for my lips, I use the Profusions uh, lip liner in matte peach, and I went in with my Glam Lights liquid lipstick in eggnog. So I think these two look really, really well together. Now for the for my eyes, I did not apply anymore on my lid. I love how this really, really came. It's really soft, nice, everyday, beautiful look. Um, but for my inner corner, I went in with the very first shade, Soleil. Soleil? <laughs> did I say that right? I don't know. But it's this beautiful, um, I want to say, I don't know. Don't get me the line because I am colorblind and everything else. But this beautiful first first shade in the palette. I popped it into my inner corner. Like I said, I love the look. I love the look without um, any falsies. Really, really pretty for me. Now, for my lashes, I used my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I love this mascara. So, that completes the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this look because i really 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 do love this look although i don't have my lashes on because i love me some lashes but i think it's really nice and elegant um you can wear it anywhere daytime nighttime whatever you just want to be glammed up really simple and easy uh i use one makeup brush and then my finger so i like it i really do like it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have not done so already Please comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And come a part of my YouTube family here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>